geography fish farming and case studies fisheries fishing is an occupation that is done both in the open ocean and in inland water there are two types of ocean fishing coastal fishing and deep sea fishing role of currents when cold and warm currents meet circular or spiral motion known as a gyre is caused as seen in the map above in such areas major fishing banks like the dogger bank in north sea and the grand bank in northwest atlantic region have been developed these fishing grounds are located in the region where the cold water wells up fish farms in coastal regions pisciculture or fish farming is a major occupation like farming of agricultural crops fish farms are also established in paddy fields lakes tanks and near rivers agriculture case studies the method of agriculture is different in different countries which depends on various factors like climate soil conditions level of economic development the availability of land population literacy level and local culture in india subsistence type of farming is practiced while in the usa it is commercial farming in australia dry land livestock commercial farming is practiced minerals and par rocks a rock is an aggregate of minerals without any specific chemical composition minerals are inorganic substances found in rocks that are usually crystalline with a characteristic composition in general rocks are of three types namely igneous sedimentary and metamorphic of these igneous rocks are the original types when igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to different temperature and pressure conditions than those in which the original rock was formed they are changed into metamorphic rocks all rocks contain minerals minerals there are currently more than 4000 known minerals minerals have both physical and chemical properties 
minerals constitute atoms ions and the materials that bind them the other properties of minerals include hardness tendency to split or cleavage luster color fluorescence and degree of resistance to scratching and abrasion classification minerals are classified into metallic and non-metallic minerals on the basis of their physical and chemical properties and also the bonding metallic minerals are of two types that is ferrous and non-ferrous metals which are discussed subsequently extraction extraction of minerals take place through mining drilling and quarrying as seen in the inset flow chart below petroleum and gas are extracted by drilling while minerals that lie near the surface are obtained by quarrying metallic minerals metallic minerals on the basis of iron content fe metallic minerals are classified as ferrous and non ferrous minerals metallic minerals include manganese zinc copper gold magnesite lead uranium and chrome ferrous minerals The most commonly occurring ferrous minerals include iron ore, manganese, bauxite, nickel, chrome, cobalt and molybdenum. See respective maps for the distribution at the global level and in India. Iron ore. Iron ores are rocks and minerals from which metallic iron can be economically extracted on the basis of iron content iron ores are usually found as three main types hematite 70% magnetite 50 to 70% and pyrite 5% the main global producers of iron ore are china usa canada poland russia kazakhstan georgia Armenia, Congo and Zambia. Map 2, which together contribute to about 95% of the global output. Bauxite. Bauxite is the most important aluminum ore. Its versatility makes it useful in the aircraft industry and also in the production of machine tools. engines and utensils the main producers of this mineral are kenya australia 
Jamaica and Brazil. Map 2. India has small quantities of bauxite in Jharkhand, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and some other areas. Map 1. Non-metallic minerals. Non-metals. Non-metals are basically defined as elements that are not metals, that is, they show no metallic luster. While processing, they cannot be heated or smelted, but have to be crushed and broken. The most commonly non-metallic minerals include phosphate, potash, salt, silica, diamond, sand and gravel. The distribution of non-metallic minerals globally is shown in map 2. Uses Non-metallic minerals are either mined or obtained by querying from the earth's surface. Non-metallic minerals are used for a variety of purposes, namely for road, building, construction industry, manufacturing of products such as a fiberglass, sand and precious jewellery, diamond and certain other stones. Cement is also made from non-metallic minerals. Mining Minerals are found at varying depths on the earth's surface and below it. A quarry is a type of surface mine from which minerals are extracted. Most non-metallic minerals occur as quarries, while metallic minerals have to be dug out from beneath the surface of the earth. Conservation Since minerals are limited in supply, the production, control and conservation of all minerals are very important to meet growing future demands. Recycling measures should be taken in the case of metallic minerals and substitutes other than plastics should be found for other types of minerals.